Hi everyone, this is Dave from Techno Buffalo with an unboxing for you of the Motorola Pro Plus mobile phone. Two point three gingerbread on here, and as you can see, we have both a touchscreen and a QWERTY keypad. Let's have a quick look around the box for you. Side profile of the phone there. A few little pieces of specification, details about the phone, and of course the product shot on the front here. So let's get this unboxed for you, have a look around the handset. Now this is sporting a one gigahertz processor and it has four gigabytes of internal storage and you can of course put micro SDHC card in here up to 32 gigabytes. So let's take the handset out itself. We'll pop this to one side, come back to that in a short while. Further down inside the box we have got the back of the phone. Let's grab this out straight away. So this has got a sort of textured feel to it and it is made of plastic so no metal on the back of this one. We have also got a battery. Let's grab the battery out and it is a 3.8 volt battery and it's 1550 milliamp hours so fairly decent capacity battery for this handset. In this little bag here we have got the micro USB connection, standard USB connection on this end. And we are in the UK so we get a 3 pin UK plug. Now if you're watching this in the US and you pick one of these up you're going to have to use one of your own power adapters or make sure you get a country specific power adapter with a 2 pin plug on there. USB connection on the top for charging the handset. In this little bag here we get a hands-free kit, three and a half millimeter audio jack on one end, the two headphone bits here to go in your ears and we have got a click to talk remote in the middle here with a little tiny microphone there for making and taking calls. Right down in the bottom of the box we have got some smart safe protected, this is just legal information and then we've got some details about the handset itself, how to get up and running and get your handset all powered up and ready to go. So let's pop all of this to one side and I'll give you a look around the Motorola Pro Plus. So it's a fairly large handset actually but a no slide out keyboard we've obviously got this keyboard visible all the time let's uh, get this battery in and see if we can get this powered up so battery slots in like so we've got room here for the sim card and then room here for a micro SD memory card as well remember this sports up to 32 gigabytes let's pop the back on bottom in first and then click it all the way round and it is really plasticky but once that backs on it does feel very nice in the hand. Let's power this handset on, we've got a power button up the top here and whilst this is starting up let's have a look around the handset. So we've got a microphone pickup here, three and a half millimeter audio jack, little tab here for taking the back on and off and of course that power on off button. On this side we've got a volume rocker and it's quite a nice design, a nice sleek design on that side profile. So that really does look nice, so it's very fetching on the side profile. On the bottom here we've got another little microphone pickup for when you're making and taking those calls. And then round on this side we've got the micro USB connection for charging and synchronising your device. Obviously on the front we've got the screen which is a 640x480 resolution screen, uh, measures 3.1 inches and then on the bottom here we've got the QWERTY keypad and just above the QWERTY keypad we've got the um, uh, touch sensitive buttons for menu, home, back and searching the device. Round on the back we've got a 5 megapixel camera and this 5 megapixel camera is indeed autofocus with an LED flash. So let's get all of my details put into the handset and then I'll come back to you with a quick tour around the Motorola Pro Plus. 
So I've run through that initial setup on the Motorola Pro Plus and we're presented with that 640 by 480 3.1 inch screen. This has got a scratch resistant Corning Gorilla Glass on the front and even though it's quite a low res, the text as you can see there is pretty well defined. As we swipe between the home screens, you'll see there is some lag and jitter on occasion. You'll see this more apparent when I'm showing you a website. And that is probably down to the 1 GHz processor not quite being up to scratch, but it still performs OK. Let's go back out to that home screen and show you a little bit of browsing. And we go up to this top bar here. And let's use this QWERTY keypad. We go to Techno Buffalo. If I can type correctly. Here we go. So we're on the Techno Buffalo website. We're connected via Wi Fi and that's loaded pretty quickly. And let's pop into one of the articles and let's have a look at the pinch to zoom. That's pretty, pretty responsive. And as you can see, this is what I was mentioning before that even though we've got that low resolution screen, there's a good definition to the text. So a nice browsing experience on the Motorola Pro Plus. And it does scroll nicely as well, even though we've got a slight jitter on occasions, it doesn't perform too bad at all. Let's have a look at the viewing angles as well. You can see here, side on, you have to excuse the reflection of my monitor in the background there. Let's try it this way. So you can see a fairly good viewing angle on there, and again this way. So the screen is pretty good. Let's take a look at this keyboard as well. So we've got a physical keyboard on here and you can see that the shaping of the keys and the spacing is decent as well. And it, it does provide a fairly good sort of tactile feedback. I think that's a pretty good uh, keyboard for quite a low price phone. So this is my first look at the Motorola Pro Plus. This is going to cost you around about £320 in the UK and that's for an unlocked SIM free version. If you're in the US, that equates to around about $480. Big shout out must go to Clove Technology at clove.co.uk for sending me through this handset to take a look at. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.